Softball 605. We're here with Carol Pipgrass, Commissioner for Junior Olympic Softball with South Dakota Amateur Softball Association. You've been involved in around the game for a number of years now, haven't you, Carol? I was appointed the Commissioner for the Youth in 94, and prior to that, probably 10 years um, helping coach my daughter's teams and keeping busy with that, yes. Yeah. So you're continuing to give to the game and give to the game. Now, we got to see you last weekend at the the fast pitch tournament, now you hear the slow pitch. Correct. I cover all youth, both fast and slow, from 18 and under and all the way down to 5 and under. And what kind of numbers are we seeing in, in both slow pitch and fast pitch in, the, in recent years? Um, we definitely see a decline in the slow pitch. Um, I think the colleges have um, probably promoted their sport better, and so kids are seeing that they can go on to college and play ball. Um, although the fast pitch is, is growing in numbers, the slow pitch is still staying pretty steady because the kids see they can still have fun, they can go to tournaments, and they can also still play nationals on the slow pitch side. Yeah, and you know, we visited with some boys earlier this morning over at, on the slow pitch um, tournament games over there, and you know, they were saying some of them had already played baseball and they just prefer slow pitch. It's a it's a good game. It's a fun game, and the kids have fun doing it. It's a more relaxed game. It's not as much pressure on the kids. Well, and any time we can get the kids out on the grass and having some, some fun and making some good decisions with their teammates, that's a good thing, isn't it? You know, softball in general gives more to the, to the kids than anything. It's not just the game. It's the sport. It's the camaraderie. It's the sportsmanship. You know, the kids learn a lot. So softball gives back to those kids, too. And uh, you, you coached your daughter's team, right? Correct. So, how many kids did you have play? I had two, two girls. And now I think I, I met one of them, and she has boys that play baseball, right? They have boys that play baseball, and they also did play softball until last year. So, okay. yep. Well, everybody has to figure out what, what sport they like best, but as long as the opportunities and options are there for them. Correct. And it wouldn't surprise me if they would come back soon, because they enjoyed playing it. Well, and then we also have adult slow pitch that's very popular in the state. You know, which is our feeder program. Our youth is a feeder program to the adult. And so the adults are very, very um, accommodating to us to help us out with our programs because they see that's their, that's their feeder program. So now we have, um, obviously, this tournament this weekend um, has had a, a number of players here for slow pitch. Last weekend there were a number for fast pitch, but, but we're not done with tournaments here by a long shot. Oh, by no means. Next weekend we have the ring neck tournament, which is 132 teams. After that we have the state tournament for fast pitch, which will be 100, and th well, we probably look at about 175 teams. And then we have the state slow pitch tournament here, also here in Sioux Falls. So we're looking at about 100 to 125 teams for that. And the impact of, of softball, both fast pitch and slow pitch, with all these tournaments on the Sioux Falls economy has to be tremendous. The economic uh, bring back to the, to the city is phenomenal. The, our last national fast pitch tournament that we had here, the city CVB said that we brought in $8.5 million to the city. So that's a big jump for them. That is a big jump. Not to mention the fact that they've had, um, you know, some NSIC had their, their women's softball tournament here. Uh, it's just a, a sport that's giving to the community in a lot more ways than probably the community is putting into it. That's exactly right. You know, and that's the fun of it. You give back to not just the community, but you give back to the kids. And if the kids are having fun, I'm having fun, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Oh, well, and what more can you say after that? It's a great, great weekend. It's always good to see you out here at the Diamonds, whether it's Sherman, Harmadon, or anywhere else. Um, thanks a lot for taking time with us at Softball 605, Carol. Thank you so much. Thanks.